Kate and welcome to this Poundland haul. I've got loads of different things to show you. I've got some autumn, autumnal things, Halloween decorations, some Christmas items and then just some general Poundland essential things and probably one of the most exciting things I've found in Poundland recently. It's absolutely gorgeous. So loads of different things to show you and some items I've never seen before. So I went to um, Gapton Hall Poundland in Great Yarmouth the other day and spent, I think it was around, I don't know, 30 or 40 pounds. So loads of different things to show you. And um, hello, if you are new to my channel, welcome along and feel free to subscribe if you haven't before. And if you enjoy these types of videos, these Poundland hauls and, and, and things, then give it a like, or you can wait to the end, it's up to you. You might be able to hear Rufus snoring behind me. Here he is having a little snooze. You can just about see him. And I'm looking after my friend's two dogs, um, Teddy and Max. Max is downstairs having a snooze and Teddy is there. Let's see if he wakes up. Teddy! 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 No, he's asleep. Teddy! Do you want to say hi? No, I'll show you him at the end, shall I? I've actually, um, I've been out walking with them this morning, so I'll put the video at the end of them walking so you can see the two dogs. And they've been on my Instagram this morning. Well, my Instagram, they were, I put a picture on Instagram of the dogs um, having a little tea party. So my Instagram things will be down there if you want to have a look. It's Kate McCabe and Kate's Homely Home. No, it's not, it's Kate's Georgian Home because I've changed my um, house account name to Georgian home rather than homely home. Anyway, I'll shut up talking. I'm going to do my mug of the day and then get on with the haul. Um, this is, I'm not going to shut up talking because that's what you do on YouTube, you talk. Um, anyway, mug of the day. So this is a, 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 a Poundland mug and I got this a couple of weeks ago. Wish I'd got two. So yeah, mug of the day. So that was like a, a witch's cauldron with stars and the moon on, moon and stars. And I also got this at the same time in my previous Poundland haul. This is just like an orange pumpkin. I had this this morning, actually, it just stayed up here. Uh, I love these mugs. I wish I'd got two of these. I didn't, I only got one. I don't know why, I just got the one. But um, yeah, I should have got two and then I could have made a really pretty picture with two of them and then, you know, we could have had, you know, two of these. Anyway, these are my mugs of the day. But this one's got a coffee and um, that one hasn't because it's from this morning. This one's gone cold, I think. Yeah, it's freezing cold. Freezing cold. Right, I'll put that there. But so cute, those mugs. They were only a pound as well. So cute. Love them. Gorgeous. Let me know if you managed to pick up either of them as well, if you like your mugs. I'm filming in the bedroom again because um, I just fancied it. I put some pumpkins and things up there and thought I'd make it a bit autumnal. I've got some bedding on. This is from asda this is me saying i'd hurry up and get on with the haul and i'm now still talking this is from asda um and i got it the other day it was only cheap i think it was 16 pounds for a super king duvet it's just very cute it's reversible so on that side you've got these are bigger acorns bigger acorns and then smaller ones it's cute isn't it i love that really pretty um yeah, shall I, shall I carry on with the haul? No, I haven't even started yet. So yeah, I hope you're okay and hope you're having a good week. And I'm going to show you kind of the boring stuff first, I think. Some dishwasher um, fluid. That's not what it's called, is it? Fluid liquid. Rinse aid. Crystal rinse aid and dishwasher cleaner. So a couple of things to clean our stinky dishwashers. I'll just put those down there. Shall I try and not edit this video? Because, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try and do a no edit one. And then carry on so there might be a few awkward moments um and, and then me going arr, 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 but hopefully we'll, we'll get through it okay um some toothpaste some oral b toothpaste i don't know why i'm shaking it and then some deodorant so some vaseline and some vaseline for men toby started wearing a bit of deodorant because he does so much sport his friend had some deodorant and he wanted some so yeah he's having a little spray here and there oh he's only uh well he's nearly 10 and he just wanted to um yeah to have a little spray in his armpits and got some dishwasher tablets as well so these are platinum with dale dishwasher tablets and there's loads in here i think these were only two quid everything else has been a pound so far but yeah these were two pounds each and you get loads in here um what have we got 26 tablets and they look like they're going to be really good so hopefully they will Eleven. 26 lemon fresh washes and I don't know if you can see my jumper actually I should mention this because it's um it's my favorite jumper oh no they're not matching now hang on I'll just do that 
Um, I got this the other day. I went to um, Galston to a couple of charity shops and I found this as soon as I walked in. It's a Zara jumper from Sue Ryder Charity Shop. It was £4.50 and it is just so lovely. It's like a really thick, warm Zara jumper with these little pom-poms on. Oh, oh, hang on. Can you see them? So cute. They're just down like one side. I love it. So I've had it on all morning actually. It's been really snuggly. Um, right, so let's have a look at one of these dishwash tablets so you can see it just looks like that so you just take off the wrapper I like the ones where you don't have to take the wrapper off and you just chuck them in but yeah take the wrapper off they look good we've got three different sections if you can see that so hopefully that'll be good for the dishwasher got lots of dishwasher things I've got some matches as well so we're starting to light our log burner and our fire so I got some matches they were a pound for these three little boxes these are quite good actually these matches they're just small ones but you get loads in there they last ages so i've got some matches i got some fire lighters as well these are brilliant they're the natural ones and they don't stink and when you break them to put them in your fire there's no i don't know they're not you know you get those real like i don't know it's paraffin but the the white ones and if you touch them your hands stink and you can't get the smell off but these are quite good natural ones and they work just as well so some fire lighters which i'll put those behind me there and then i've got some wipes to put in my car these ones to kind of wipe my steering wheel so when i go shopping or something and get back in the car i like to just give the car a wipe not all the time but you know every every couple of shops so I just give my car a steering wheel a little clean anything i've kind of touched and these are great these coronavirus well it says it kills 99.9% .9 coronavirus germs, fungi and viruses. I bought these last time, these ones, the handy wipes, and these are great just to put in your bag and they're really good. They feel like they, they're really working when you use them. They dry quickly as well. Um, so by the time you've got wiped your hands, the little, the tissue thing is dry. So I've got another couple of packets of them because they're just great to have. And they make me feel quite nice and safe if I go anywhere, I can chuck those in my bag and know that I can use them. But these are for the car, like I said, so I can use them wherever really on surfaces and these are a pound as well mr valet 30 wipes in there so yeah i got those let me just pull oh it's all falling down um let me get the other boring thing out of the way and then i'll show you the good stuff okay so i got some kitchen roll this was a pound mighty xl strength 100 sheet roll i do like this size because you can it's the really it's the biggest kitchen roll you can get um so yeah i do love using kitchen roll it's just easy isn't it to wipe up your yeah, spills and that so i just got yes a nice big one of those for a pound and oh actually i might be able to see um how you might come over now because i've got some gravy bones some fold hill gravy bones for dogs 500 grams and these were in the um news recently where they're for the cat food but the gravy bones are fine so i did double check so who wants the gravy bones do you want a rufus what's this Teddy? do you want a oh, we've got a bag of gravy bones do you want a gravy bone here he is teddy do you want one? Oh, you can see him now he's been running around the grass and we've just mowed the lawn so his little feet are green can you see him he's a lazarapso puppy i think is that how you say your what your breed you are what your breed you are are you a lazarapso lazarapso there you go he's got funny little teeth and then max uh he'll be sleeping downstairs max is hard of hearing so he won't be able to hear me if i if i call i'll save one for max i'll save a couple for max the staffy was that nice what one more one more gravy bone. Here you go. Oh, Rufus. Rufus likes having friends to stay. And they're going on Saturday. So tomorrow morning or afternoon, my friends um, Claire and Ke Kim <laughs> are going to come and, and pick them up. So back to back to your mummy's house for you dogs. Right. So yeah, gravy bones for a pound. Um, should I just... Oh, no, no order. I've got... I'll save the best things to the end. A really lovely item I mentioned in the beginning. So I got some pumpkin teeth as well. So when we do our pumpkins, you could just shove these into the orange pumpkin, and then it looks quite funny. So there's seven different teeth. I love using these. So yeah, I've got those for our pumpkins. And talking of pumpkins, I've got four these little ones. 
So these are light up pumpkins and they're a pound each. I love these. I think I got some of them last year. They're in my, I've got some of them. Actually, I don't think, I don't know if they had faces last year. I've got like a glittery orange one or two like this, but without the face. Um, batteries included. So I've got two black ones and two of the orange ones. And you could probably paint these or do something with them. I leave them as they are. I have bought some paint, so I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm just going to check it works. I'll pull this out. Oh, yay! Oh, he flashes. There you go. He's got a little flashy face. That's good, isn't it? Hello. So yeah, four of those. I'm not going to like the others. I'm going to keep them until it's um till Halloween, and then I can, you know, use them, put them out. They can ah, they can shine away. I'll just pop them down there. Glitters going everywhere already. Hello, guys. Can you see his green little paws running around in the grass? Look at your little paws. I'm going to give you a bath before you go home. Hello, Rufus. Rufus is wanting more gravy, but you just had two. You did just have two. Okay, I'm going to get some more of this stuff. I've put it quite far away, so I'll just pull the blanket over. What have I got here? Right, so I've got a couple of pumpkins I want to paint, and I bought some acrylic paint. So hopefully that'll do the job. I've got a ceramic pumpkin, Rufus, um, that I got from a charity shop last year. So I'm hoping I can paint it white using these. So acrylic, white, Dela Brownie, if that's how you say the, the name, 30 millilitres. They didn't have any others, so I just got this one. So hopefully that will go on my pumpkin. And then I got some um, acrylic brushes as well to brush it on the pumpkin, although they're really small. I'm going to be there a while because the pumpkin's quite big. It's bright orange. It's not like a nice orange, the pumpkin I bought. It's like, it's too bright. So I'm going to paint it white. And yeah, I got one of these acrylic paint markers. So this is black. So maybe I can write something on a pumpkin. But I thought I'd get, get this and give it a go and see what I can come up with. Um, so I'll probably do that ah, at the weekend. Hello, Teddy here as well. Teddy, what a good boy. Um, I got some felt tip pens for Toby. These are the scratch and sniff ones, sketch and sniff um, scented markers. So he can do a little bit of colouring. I haven't bought many um, colouring and stuff in a while, actually. He's kind of not growing out of it because I don't think you ever do, but he loves it when he gets things like that because then he enjoys it, especially if they've got a bit of a scent to them. Um, I got some white cards and envelopes so we can do a bit of, we can make our own little cards and do a bit of crafting, me and Toby. Might be good with that pen actually, doing some Halloween, little Halloween um, cards. They're only a pound, which is good, isn't it? I like how this all looks. I like the um, packaging on there. Got Toby some vitamins. These are his favourite ones. I get some from Tesco, but he prefers these. So I got him another um, packet of these. Uh, and you get seven in here, seven for a pound, seven to 11 years. And then I normally end up having one because they're really nice. I got some um, face cream as well, because I've been using a really nice night cream that I got last week in my Cherries haul, which I'll link below. All sorts in that Cherries haul, from Halloween things, home decor, and loads of like essential bits and bobs. And um, so I'm halfway through that moisturizer. So I thought I'd grab two from, um, yeah, two from Poundland and use these. And I haven't got a very good day one at the moment. Well, I'm using the light one, which is great. But I need a little bit more moisture at the moment. So I thought this, this might be better. So I got these Nivea Soothing Night Cream and Soothing Day Cream. That's SPF 15 and that's just one for the for night because I had been getting some little dry patches. So I thought I need to maybe need to up my um, moisturisation. They were two pounds each, so slightly more, but still good, isn't it? Nivea for two pounds. Teddy's gone back to the end. You all right, Teddy? Are you okay? He's keeping, keeping watch. Um, oh, a couple of Halloween things. This is still here. Some little plates. So these are party platters. So they're nice and big. I'm going to do Toby a little party. I think I said last, in my last um, Poundland haul and last week's Cherries haul, I always do Toby a little Halloween party. So I thought that'd be good to put little sandwiches on. And then some plates. So in my haul from last weekend, I've got napkins and cups, but I just needed some of these little plates. They're cute, aren't they? So they were a pound each. You get 20 of these ones and eight of the party platters. So I got those for his little party. And I bought these mini pumpkins. These are glittery 
glitter pumpkins you get 20 in here and i've already used them i did a little um halloween ah, tablescape thing for instagram and i put some of these on the table they're really cute just little mini glittery pumpkins and you get 20 in there just sort of scattered them along the middle of the table and they look really cute like i got them on my jumper little mini pumpkins i love this jumper so much i'm so glad it was there when i walked in to the charity shop and was picked up and went oh just loved it it's so comfortable oh my bra's slipping um but yeah it's really comfortable jumper oh no drop the plate that's okay don't worry um right so makeup oh a roll-on deodorant i do i really like um sanex so i've got roll-on deodorant and then I like to layer up and then have a little spray. And I got some blusher. I couldn't find the blusher that I normally get from Poundland. It's just, there's normally one like that on its own. But this was the only one they had. So I'm sure that'd be fine. That was only a pound as well. Um, this blusher. So I got that because I needed a new one. I've nearly used my, the other ones that I use. That's me doing my blusher. And I got these for our en suite. I needed some tumblers for our toothbrushes. So I got this to put in our ensuite, which is just here, because I had some from TK Maxx that I'd been, I bought, I don't know, probably three years ago, and they'd gone all horrible, and all the pattern had come off as well. So I thought I just needed to replace them. They'd gone all groggy. You do like clean them, but then the pattern had all, it was like really pretty terrazzo pattern, you know, um, when it's all, it was like speckledy, but it's all, you know, went all horrible. So I need to replace them. And these were only a pound each. So it'd be quite nice um, with candles in, wouldn't they? They say on the bottom, they're only a pound, Pep & Co Home um, toothbrush holder. But yeah, a candle would, would look lovely in there. Or could you use them as glasses? It'd be quite nice, quite posh looking glasses. Really good. They're really thick as well. Nice and sturdy. I like those. So yeah, some of those to put an R on sweet. And then I've got some decorations. I thought these would look good in the greenhouse. So if I can decorate our little greenhouse with some of these, it'd look really pretty on each side. So they're just honeycomb decorations. They're metallic. They're kind of, I thought they were like autumnally looking, like autumnal colours, like brownie rather than metallic. Let's have a look. Or are they more gold? I think they're going to look really pretty just like dangling down from the ceiling. Oh yeah, they are. I think they'll look really lovely with like the wood from the from the greenhouse. So you get three like this, three different sizes. That's the medium size. And then you just you stick them together there, don't you? I think there's a bit of yeah, a bit of sellotape here. And then you clip them together and then hang them down. They're quite nice for Christmas as well, I suppose. I thought they look really lovely either side in the greenhouse. So that's the plan. If you want to have a look at my greenhouse, summer house thing that we've got in the garden. We did it during lockdown. We kind of, um, you know, made it all look pretty during lockdown. Uh, so I'll link my Instagram. Oh, I've already said that on my Instagram house account down below. And you can see the greenhouse. What? What are you barking at? Yeah, so it'll be linked below if you want to have a look at the greenhouse if you haven't seen it before. So they were a pound each and I got two packets of those. So they're going to look lovely. What do you reckon, Rufus? He just wants them. Um, What's another gravy bone? And then more decorations. I'm sorry, Rufies. I'll give you a right, more decorations. I've got um some stars, paper stars. So November, December, I'll probably hang these down from the ceiling, maybe from the um from the hall, like the stairs, hang them so they you can see them. Like, I don't know. I hang them from somewhere anyway. So I've got two of these, uh silver and gold. And I get two of them. Yeah, so they're a pound each got two of those oh it's the candle I wonder what that noise was I've got one of those crackle wick candles and it's crackling away I thought it was raining that's good isn't it that's the first time I've lit that that's nice it sounds like um a bit of a fire yeah so two of those and you get a silver and a gold one and then I got some of the white and red ones so I could put those somewhere as well so two little paper stars they're really cute look that's the back of them some candy canes and that's just red and white if you can see those really pretty and that's really good value as well isn't it for these all these decorations and then my final thing in this haul and i was really really like impressed when i saw them 
standing there. Well, they weren't standing there, you know, because they're, they're, they're items. But when I saw them standing, well, when I saw them on the shelf, I just thought, oh, wow, that looks amazing. And they look so posh. I think they look amazing. So I got three of them and I actually got four and I gave one to Lee's mum. Um, she'd been helping us out with something so I gave her one of these the other day I gave her I bought two of the sweet pear and apple and I've got two of the fresh linen so I gave her one of those they're three pounds each which I think is a really good price I haven't smelt them yet I wanted to show you first and then and then I'll give them a sniff they look brilliant they look so good though don't they so posh like you'd, you'd pay a lot for that wouldn't you the little flower and the reed the reed um you know the reed diffuser it's lovely such a nice idea so it just says on here fills the room with a fresh clean scent pep and co fresh linen reed diffuser three pounds and let's have a look should we open one so i'll say leave that one there so we'll open this one it's got like a little hydrangea this is yeah fresh linen packaging's nice as well isn't it it looks lovely let's take this out there we go so that's what it looks like oh I'm what oh yeah okay so there's no um there's no stuff in there I think it must be in the bottom here I was really confused then because it's empty but it's pretty isn't it so a little hydrangea and then that obviously takes up the scent as well and it goes on to the the petals I think and then just your normal wooden -y ones little um reed things so that's the fresh linen there must be at the bottom of this yes yeah, in there isn't it at the bottom so in the second ah the glue stuck the second part of this i think it's going to be in here so you must have to just put it in yourself Let's open this up yeah here we go it's in here in a little bottle there's loads actually how much is in here you get this bottle and there is 80 millilitres so quite a lot isn't it for three pounds and I think you just open this up and then yeah it's sealed and then tip it in here like this glug 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 and then you shovel that in bosh and then it should you know it should should um you know go into the atmosphere and smell all lovely it smells really nice that's through the thingy. Should I have a little whiff? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, let me get the other one off. Oh, I can't actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. That was just uh, stronger than I thought it would be. It literally smells like fresh linen, like nice linen, not like stinky leftover fresh linen, stinky linen. Yeah, it's really nice. Love that. That smells great. Can I smell the other one? Shall I? All right then. Um, all right, I'll just put this over here. With this little thing. Really pretty. Such a nice, um, these would be great for presents as well. Little gift ideas. So yeah, I think the man said, the manager at the um, Yarmouth shop said they sold out quickly. So if you do see one, um, grab it because it might not be there. I think they're going to sell out. So that's lovely. And let's smell the other one while you're here because this is the last thing yeah the final thing in the poundland haul for today next week i've got um i'm gonna do a home bargains haul so i got some stuff the other day so i'm actually gonna film that in a minute and then get it ready my home bargains haul so that will be here in a week full of all sorts and right let's have a whiff of this so sweet pear and apple it's a little hydrangea as well i think isn't it it's actually i don't know which one which one's cuter let me have a look let's get this off Oh, I've got a bit of glue stuck to the back there. I'll get it off later. <laughs> so yeah, it's just the same, but that's the colour. That's it's slightly different with the, the petals and pinky ones. Where's the other one gone? Where did I put it? Where did it go? Oh, it's here. It's here. So very cute. Um, and let's have a smell of the sweet pear and apple in the compartment at the bottom i'd love to get this as a gift It'd be lovely wouldn't it if you didn't you know if you hadn't been to poundland and you got this you like, oh well, that's lovely looks very posh right let's get this top off have a sniff of this oh 
Oh, that is lovely. That is so nice. I wish you could smell it. Really lovely. It smells just like pears because it is, isn't it? Where's the thingy gone? What is it? Sweet pear? Sweet pear and apple. That smells really nice. You know when you sort of smell things and they can be a bit too sweet and then might give you a bit of a headache. It smells lovely. Absolutely lovely. And the linen one does as well. Really impressed with that. Really nice. So hopefully they'll be good and it'll spread the stink into the air. Spread the aroma into the air, not the stink. Um, yeah, so that is everything. That's my final thing in my Poundland haul. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm putting this here and I've got the mugs. Oh, there we go. Let's put that there. On my bedside table, it's covered in gravy bones makeup and all the other bits from the hall on my little bedside table. Anyway, I'll um, go now because it's the end of the video and hopefully I don't have to edit. I think I've done um, a no edit video and there won't be any edit ed ed edits. Still get it wrong at the end. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And like I said at the start, subscribe as well if you haven't. And I will speak to you very soon. I've got my home bargains haul in a week and then I've got a charity shop haul after that where um, I'm going to show off this jumper again probably and some other things I found. Some gorgeous autumnal jumpers and a beautiful um, Kath Kidston tea set thing that I couldn't resist. It's gorgeous. So yeah that'll be here in a couple of weeks time. So they're the, they're the next videos I've got coming up. Also Ewan and Luke are going to be visiting soon so we'll have a vlog to do you know we'll have a vlog of the when they come up and i think we're going to hopefully go to a car boot sale as well so i can't wait to see you and luke it's been ages it'll be really nice um you know when they come to stay and they're going to bring maggie so luke's got a brand new dog called maggie and maggie's going to come up as well so it'll be really nice for rufus to um to hang out with some more friends because he's, he's, he's enjoyed having Teddy and Max here. Oh, I'd, like I said at the beginning, I went for a walk um, this morning with the dogs. And I'll add the footage now so you can see um, if you want to have a look at Max as well, the staffy. So on our walk this morning, I just did a bit of filming and introduced the dogs. So if you want to see what they look like, um, yeah, I'll add that now at the end. But thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you soon. In the meantime, come over to Instagram. Like I said, everything will be linked down below, plus my Cherries haul from last week and my previous Poundland haul as well. But yeah, take care. Sending lots of love to everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So this is Teddy. He's a Lazarapso and he's having a lovely walk. And this is Max, who is a Staffy. And I think he's about nine or ten I think so he's a bit older there's Rufus <laughs> and Teddy is I think just over a year so yeah these are the dogs Teddy Max hello and they've had a lovely time Rufus um <coughs> is off the lead and these do stay on the lead just in case they're not my dogs either so um yeah just keeping these two on and Rufus is quite happy just running along they're keeping me fit. <laughs> Don't actually go for a walk, you go for a run. Not a bad day today, a bit of blue sky, some clouds, but yeah, it's not cold. My coat's in the car because they run around quite fast. Um, I get quite hot, so I didn't bring a coat. Well, it's in the car anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to walk them around here or run, jog around here for another 10 minutes and then head back home. I forgot to say goodbye at the end of the filming this morning in, in the park. So um, I thought I'd just say a quick goodbye now and look who's here, he came up. He loves these gravy bones, they've been very popular. And then Rufus, he's got yours and look Teddy, there you go. Do you want to do a quick? Oh, he's not that impressed. Do you want to do a oh yes, he's got it, there he is. Little Teddy, little Teddy. So Teddy, this is Max Staffy and then Rufus. So yeah, just thought I'd do a proper goodbye. And Max was here. Did you enjoy your gravy bone? Oh yes. Thank you for being on YouTube. Okay, we'll speak to you next week. Take care, goodbye. Say goodbye. You say, say goodbye. Do you wanna say goodbye? Do you wanna say goodbye, Teddy? What's that? Ah, oh, goodbye. Goodbye from the Tedster and Max and Rufus and speak to you next week. Bye-bye.